Welcome back and we're going to continue looking at dynamic segmentation. In the previous videos I showed you guys how to do dynamic segmentation um, based on the salesman, but this time around we're going to take it a little bit further. We're going to base it on growth between two periods. Showed you how dynamic you can get with this. So example, we're going to have three classifications. A stable grow and drop. Drop means anything with more than 20% loss. A stable means between 20 and minus 20% and growth means anything that has grown more than 20%. So we're going to look and do good counts and look at the sales for those. How cool is that? That is a cool requirement. So as with all dynamic segmentation, first thing we do is we create a new table. Okay. So I'm just going to paste the code in there. Whoop. Here we go. Here we go. So you can see we're using the data table um, function, table function. It spits out a beautiful table over there. I'm just going to make sure we sort this by... Sort by segment key. Yes, so it sorts correctly. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is, you can see we have dropped, stable, and growth. First thing we're going to do is, because we're going to look at growth between two years, we need to first create a growth measure. Okay, so let's see. Um, we're just quickly going to, I'm going to quickly paste this and take you through the code so I don't take too much time. Cool. So you can see that this measure is based on the following. We basically have growth. The, we look at we declare variable for the current year. Then we say what's the um, total sales for the previous year. We can see same period last year for a specific date. And then we return. We divide the result by the previous year. Let me say here. Excellent. Okay. So once we have that, let me quickly show you the, the model, the data model, so you can see what's going on here. You can see that we basically have our sales, we got our date, products, and customers, and the, the growth segment is completely separate, like in any dynamic segmentation um, pattern. Okay, so now that we have the growth, let's quickly look at what we have here. So let's quickly say table, wonderful. Let's say year, let's make that the rows. Let's say what's the total sales, and what's the growth percentage. Oh, so you can see there we go. There's the growth percentage. Just make this growth, growth percentage, a percentage. Uh, percentage. There we go. Let's see what the percentages are in that case. So you can see that we've grown. 1997, we've grown 100%. That makes sense. First year of business within, and then 1998. Okay, cool. So we can see that's what we're going to be dealing with. Okay, so now, now let's basically classify all products within there according to that. So next thing that we're going to do is, um, what we want to do is we want to take, let me quickly show you what my, my aim is here. So if we look at the products, let's say we put the product name and the year. So you can see for 1998, these products all were negative. Do, 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 do. There's a positive there. So I want to group these products under drop, stable and growth. Okay, that's what I want to achieve. Okay, so let's quickly get to that. First thing we do is we create the measure. So new measure, segment product. So what we have here is similar to the previous pattern we saw in the previous example. We first have this piece of code here, this variable that that basically determines uh, with the configuration table uh, where where our segmentation falls. But here we use the previous formula we created for the growth percentage to actually determine that. You can see here we determine the segment based on the growth percentage. Once we know that, I just basically do a simple count rows on the products table, which should have only one record for each product. And then we give it falter context of the year over there, and that will give us our results. So I'm just going to say, okay. So that's going to tell us what has grown and what has not grown. So let's quickly do the same thing. Let's say matrix table. Whoop. Let's bring the year in. We say the year, the year could be the columns, right? And actually, year should not be columns, year should be the rows. The value should be the values over there. And then we want to do it for, we actually don't want to do it per year. We want to say, we want to make the year the columns. And then we want to put from the growth segments segment over there. So you can see in 1997 we had one client, uh, one product that dropped, five was stable, 68 that grew, 98 you can see that as well. So let's quickly add the products there. Let's add the product name to that so we can see that. 
And now we're going to get some great insight over here. Look how cool this is. So for 1997, we can see only one, um, one product dropped. But in 1998, 50 products dropped. Whoa. Uh, in 1997, five products were stable. 12 were stable. And products that grew in 1998 was 14, while well, we only had 68 um, in 1997. That's pretty cool. So now I can also do that. So that gives you kind of like shows you how you can use dynamic segmentation to divide your to, to categorize your sales in terms of you know growth rates over time. 